Welcome back to Data Cloud Now's coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. As you can tell, I'm back on the show floor where I am delighted to be joined by Henry Tram, solutions engineer at Excel Data. How's it going, Henry? It's great. I'm you know, loving the energy. Here. You know, I can feel the buzz and the excitement. Yeah. You know, let's let's dive into Excel Data here for yeah. a second. You know, you maximize data reliability, eliminate operational blind spots, and reduce spend. Yeah. Can you please walk me through the product and what's the data showing you, Henry? Yeah. So data observability here at Excel Data has three key pillars, right? How do we trust our data? Build trust within the pipelines end to end. And that's data reliability. Operational intelligence is, as data is moving through ingestion, curation, and consumption, how do we ensure there's no risk for pipeline failures? Lengthy root cause analysis, right? 3 a.m. calls, and you know, weekend. Who's going to respond to these data app uh, Listen, failures? Always outages. delivering for your customers. Right. That's what it's about, right, Exactly, Henry? and the spend intelligence is, how do we tie consumption to business outcomes and build the right controls and guardrails so we see more Snowflake adoption? Right, in a simple and easy manner. And that's exactly what we saw for here. You know, I know we were talking off camera because yeah, I absolutely love your booth. <laughs> what are we working with here, Henry? Yeah. So we see our three pillars right here, right? Data reliability, near and dear our hearts. We have the spend intelligence side as well. And we have the operational intelligence, right? A little small swag bar over here. Listen, right? I'm going to be diving into that yeah, in the not too distant future here. Feel free to take one. And then right over here is our demo booth. Yeah. Hey, Henry, I would love to see the product. Can you walk us through a quick demo? Does yeah. that work for you? Yeah, it works for me. Come on, let's we'll jump do a into couple it. minutes. Come yeah. on in. I'll give you the highlights. I know you're a busy fella, but we talked about three things, right? First and foremost is spend intelligence. So we can get you set up, integrated, and start to show optimization in less than four hours, right? And what we're veering towards, you'll see, is understanding cost and consumption by particular accounts. Starting to understand with automated anomaly detection, how much we're consuming over a course of seven days, seven weeks, seven months, and drilling all the way down to the granular level. Every single query executed in your Snowflake environment, aggregated, filtered, consolidated, Tell me about all the runaway queries, tell me about all the bad queries, and how do we again optimize our queries in real time with our air platform here. So there's a whole lot of insights we can do, and we see about 30% in optimization. 30%? 30%. Wow, I mean, talk yes. about ease of use. Data teams must love right. this. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. And so we're happy to run some proof of concept, and it takes less than four hours to get us set up and running. From our reliability side, it's how we're able to build trust within your particular workloads, right? So consider pipelines are getting really complex, right. adjusting from numerous sources as well. Simplify it. Simplify it, flatten it out. Tell me about what the pipelines look from Snowflake to Kafka, and tell me about the asset level, right? What are the data volumes that we expect? What would anomaly detection tell me about? Should we expect a million, a billion, and trend it over a course of seven days and tell me about Great the Great for bars. forecasting, exactly. I know top of mind for data teams right. in, a, in a tough economic climate, they exactly. want to know exactly what's the data showing up. That's exactly right, right? And the last piece is reliability, how we're able to not only onboard data reliability table by table or schema by schema, create a set of rules, hit an API even, right? And start to get to this point. How do we trust the data, right? How do we trust the data from an email marketing campaign? How do we trust the data from, let's say, our business use cases here, right? So you can actually filter on particular pipelines, give you the ability just to build trust within the pipelines, have leadership subscribe onto it. So green, yellow, and red. Tell me about, again, your data pipeline. And we have a good 88.35 confidence score, I right? Mean, I, I That's think, a B plus, it's good. I, 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 think, I think trust has never been more important, right. Henry. This has been an absolute blast. I'm going to jump into some of your giveaways yeah, if you please, don't mind. Please but do. it's been an absolute pleasure having you on Data Thank Cloud you, now. Yeah. Be sure to swing on over to Excel Data's booth here, live on the show floor. I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud now. I'll see you soon.